I don't know why my phone's doing that. It's like zoomed in on me. It's a little weird, but I don't mind, I guess. <laughs> so, hi you guys. I'm going to be doing a top... I don't know if I'm going to do top 10 or top 5 fall like eyeshadow palettes. I haven't decided really yet. Just because I don't know if I really have 10 fall eyeshadow palettes because I feel like they... There's so many different shades and like... Obviously my Urban Decay one's going to be one of them, but there's just so many shades in them that I feel like I don't need to do 10. So let me pull those out and then I'll get back to you. <laughs> See, I knew I wouldn't have like five. I kind of have like four and then like a little color pop pack or whatever, but um, the first one is obviously my Tartlet In Bloom palette. There's not like a ton of fall shades I would consider here, but the bottom half, oh, it's so hard with this lighting that I have. So this second row and this um, third row, all these shades are very fall vibes. Um, I love Tarte's palettes as it is. They're just amazing. I want to buy their new... Tardiest, I think, Pro Palette that they just came out with. I'm actually going to Sephora and shopping tomorrow as always, so I will do a haul on that for you guys to see. Ugh. Okay, so next we'll do these little ColourPop shades. So the first one I'm going to show you is La La La, or La La, La La La. It's a super shock shadow. And that is the shade. It is like a very nice copper color. So that's the shade. Just a really, really pretty like copper tone. There it is on my finger. It's a beautiful shade. Colourpop comes in swinging with their uh, eyeshadows. Like I've never been disappointed. The next one is Mittens. And that is the shade of that. It is a matte it is a matte shade. Which I think has like a little tint of shimmer to it, but not like this, obviously. It's like a very nice matte, like warm matte brown. The next shade is Dukes. It's D E U X, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. And that is the shade. It is like a very warm, doe tan shade. It's a really pretty shade. I always forget I have these because they're like hidden under some of my other palettes. I'm like, why don't I use these more often? I'm like, the next shade is Trios, which I've used this shade several times. And it's a very brick red shade. It's probably the closest true red shade that I have. And the last color pot shade is the shade Quatre Quatre. <laughs> and it's a very dark brown matte. And it's a very deep chocolate brown shade. And I feel like those are a perfect fall color palette. I think some of them came in like a quad of several ones. I guess I should have... I'll swatch these for you guys too. So this is Flower Child. It's really hard to see on my skin tone. Yeah, you can, you can kind of see it. Smarty Pants. As you can tell, the ColourPop ones are more pigmented when you swatch them. This is the shade Firecracker, which is like a darker copper than this one. This is Activist, which is a very dark blackened chocolate brown. This is the shade Funny Girl. It's a very light gold color. <laughs> like a very light copper color. The next shade is Sweetheart, which is a very mauve pink shade. You guys can see that. I have no idea. Um, the next shade is Rubble, and it is like a red, purple, brown. And then the last one is Leader, which is a purple, red, brown. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna wash those off real quick so I can swatch the next palettes for you. So the next palette is obviously the Urban Decay Naked Basics. Yeah, Ultimate Basics. Um, 
Not all of these are like super fall, but there are a few that are super fall to me. Um, the shade Tempted. So that was the shade Tempted. The shade Instinct. They don't swatch very well on your arm, but I promise on your eye they do. Which it's like a very pinky purple. The next shade is Lethal. It looks like a purple, but it's more like a brown with maybe like a tinge of purple to it. The next shade is Extra Bitter. It is like a very orange brown brick shade. The shade Lockout. It is like a very dear doe shade. The shade Faith. They're very similar. This one just has a lot more, I feel like, yellow in it than the other one. Those are those shades, which I feel are perfect for fall. Next is the 35O palette, which is the Holy Grail Warm Toned Fall palette. I feel like, like this... This is fall in a palette. It's is so amazing. So obviously I'm not going to swatch all of them, but I will swatch a few. These shades here I feel are perfect. Um, right here. This shade was really pretty. This was not. Okay, we're just going to swatch them. <laughs> That is the first shade. It is very, very orange, obviously. True to its hand. This is the shade right underneath it, and it's more of a yellow toned orange. The next shade underneath that one is a very um, grapefruit color, kind of like a more of a red orange. The shade below that is a brown red shade. And the one underneath that. Gorgeous. Oh, do you see that? It is like a very bronzy, copper kind of shade. This is the shade right next to the bright orange that we first swatched. It is like a gray green, almost like army green shade. The shade below that is a fawn color. This is also another beautiful white shade with a hint of pink to it. The one below that is this one. Which is a more, oh, that one's gorgeous, like rose gold shade. The shade below that one is a very copper penny red shade. And this shade is like a smoky brown. This one, another like more fawn color. This is a very bronze green shade. They're so beautiful. Um, this palette is perfect for fall. Or any kind of warm toned eye you could imagine, that is the palette. So, love that palette so much. The shades, like I said, are amazing. The next one is the 35F, which is the Fall Into Frost, obviously, a fall shade. Now, these are the only mattes in this palette, and they are all very nice transition um, crease shades. I love this one here, this one, and this one, but I will swatch a few of those. Um, I just love this palette. <laughs> There's like no other way to describe it. So we're going to take this red shade that I first pointed out earlier. And it's like a brown... Um, like a deer color. I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but it reminds me of like a deer. Um, this is a more green tinted fawn deer color. More of a yellow tone to brown. Another fawn color. These all remind me of deer in this palette. I'm being so honest with you guys. 
that is like a more red toned peach brown. Oh, I love shades. So this is like a green bronze shade. This is a true bronzy. This gold shade never fails to impress me. I mean, very, very gold. And then this dark purple. This is like a chocolate brown. I love this shade as well. This is another like penny copper shade. Those are my favorite out of the Fall Into Frost palette. And that is it for the fall shades. The fall palettes, if you will, edition. Um, these are so pretty. Like, the camera doesn't do it justice, you guys. Like, none of them. But yeah, so the next thing I think I will be doing are maybe highlighters. I don't actually have a lot, and that's what I'm planning on getting tomorrow, is more highlighters and maybe blushes, and then maybe an eyeshadow palette, I don't know, but, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to do that, and then I will jump into the winter edition, edition, edition of this collection that I'm going to be doing, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and, oh, I just wiped it on my arm. And I love you guys and thank you so much for watching.